Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Dear sons and daughters of planet Earth. I am Sananda. It is with great joy that I realize that the journey was very interesting and evolutionary for many, even those who think they went through the journey and achieved nothing, look inside and realize how much was learned, how much was understood. Not everything always results in what you expect, but, understand, it never goes without results. There is always something to learn, there is always something to see, and there is always something to change. Rest assured that for everyone who did it, no matter the result, everyone who participated daily, suffered changes. Many may not yet have realized what has changed, but there have been changes. Be it changes on a physical level, on a mental level, which may still be unnoticed, but the change on the spiritual level certainly happened. Imagine that you walked through a long tunnel, at times it seemed very bright, at times not so much but you passed through that tunnel. So don't think that you entered and left the same way. In this tunnel there was a whole frequency, there was a whole energy of evolution. So anyone who thinks they entered and left the same way is very mistaken. Each of you has received this energy, each one in their own way, each one with a different intensity, but everyone received it. The simple fact of taking the walk, which I represent here as a tunnel, brought changes to their souls and bodies. So believe me, don't see this as a meaningless road or one that hasn't produced results. The ego is still high, exactly saying, nothing happened. Nothing changed. Because he wants to continue giving the reins. So making you believe that nothing happened is a way of making you give up, of taking away his strength. So don't listen to your egos. You have changed, don't you realize? No problem, what matters is that your souls actually received what they needed to receive and you don't have much control over that. The souls were treated. Inside this tunnel every soul was treated, every soul was healed, regardless of your will. Now the mind says it didn't see, it didn't feel, it doesn't matter, the soul has been treated, the soul has evolved. What we wanted happened. Now, it will be up to your human minds to let go of the ego, so that you can move forward together with your souls. Because as long as you are stuck in the ego, that, I didn't achieve it, I didn't see it, I didn't feel it, the soul is moving forward and you are falling behind. But is this possible? Yes, of course it is. Your soul can evolve and you cannot. You are just a human consciousness, you are the clothing of your soul. So if your soul wants to go, it will go. Try to understand what I'm saying. So that you can walk together with your souls, give up your ego, give up everything that prevents you from walking together. I would say that there is the fear of change, the fear of leaving the comfort zone, the fear of what you don't know, what is coming, fear of everything fear imposed by the ego. Because if the ego starts to lose strength, it complains, it doesn't want to lose strength, it wants to continue maneuvering you until the end, showing you that this is all nonsense and that you will never see anything, feel anything, and participate in anything. And if you believe in him, this is what will happen. But your soul keeps moving, you're falling behind. The ascension is twofold, it is an ascension of the soul and of the body. Do you want to go together with your souls? So do whatever, appease the ego, shut the ego up. Stop being afraid of what will come. What will come will be necessary for your journey, no more and no less. If the person next to you just tells you, ah, I'm fine, I'm not suffering at all. And you are in pure suffering and you don't accept it. Why doesn't the other person suffer and I suffer, this is ego, you are feeling harmed, you are feeling inferior to the other, why? Is your soul the same as someone else's? Do you know what that other person will go through in the future? No, you just compare yourself. If someone else is doing it, why can't I? Ego. 
you don't want to be behind anyone. So I tell you, if you're not succeeding, it's because you still have a long way to go. Whoever is fine today may not be fine tomorrow, it will depend on where he ends up, what he has to overcome. The higher it is, the greater the challenges. So stop looking at other people's progress. Be concerned about your walks. Look at yourselves, forget that the other person sees, feels, hears. He is the perfect one who participates in everything and knows everything. Very well, it's his soul and you don't know what it will go through in the future, it's not your problem, it's the other soul's problem. So forget about each other, stop comparing yourself. Oh, you saw it and I didn't see it. And what's wrong with you not seeing it? You weren't ready to see it yet, throw your egos aside or you really won't go together with your souls. Because you are holding on to petty feelings, of inferiority, of incapacity. And I say to you, you are not and do not have that. You make yourself small because you don't believe in your own powers, because you don't believe that you are capable. And that phrase that is most repeated by everyone, I can't do it. Very well, keep repeating this phrase and I would tell you every minute, that then it becomes even easier for your soul to leave and for you to stay. Stop self-condemning, stop self-diminishment. Yes, you can, yes, you are powerful, yes, you can. Trust and you will succeed. Now. As long as you listen to your ego and keep asking yourself, why does so and so succeed and I can't, you won't leave the place, because you're more concerned about so and so's progress than yours. This is ego. Start looking at your own path, forget the path of others. If the other saw it, felt it, good for him at this moment. You are on another path, at another stage of the path, so accept your stage. Stop wanting everyone to be on the same level. Each soul is a soul, so each one is at a point on that journey. Stop looking to the side, take care of your own paths. Only in this way will you be able to reach where your souls already are. Have you forgotten what we said? That we would treat their souls and they were treated. Vibrationally, your souls are already well above the vibration of your bodies, your minds. So make your way to where your souls are. Surrender, just surrender, and stop complaining, stop claiming that you can achieve nothing, that you see nothing, that you feel nothing. The sentence will have to be, I can do it. I'm on the walk. I will be able to participate in whatever is within my power. Done, it's over. Stop being negative all the time. I will repeat. Your souls are going and whoever does not effectively let go of their ego and stop comparing themselves to others will not go with their souls. Understand as you wish. There is no longer any way to be delicate with our words. You guys don't do well with sweet words. You need to get those shocks every now and then to wake up. So wake up. The time has come to wake up your minds, because the souls have already woken up. Do whatever your minds evolve. Forget the other, forget what the other tells you. What someone else says is not always true, not always. Many count to show off, think about it. And you feel inferior because of lies. Take care of your own walks, forget about other people's walks. So today we will begin a new stage. Now this step will be for the minds, to help you get to where your souls are. It will be a simple step, there is no meditation, it is a simple step. And I sincerely hope that you do it with your heart. There's no point repeating words from mouth to mouth, it doesn't work, it has to be from the heart, a lot of heart. So each day, you will repeat, what I put here, as many times as you want. There's no problem repeating the previous days, no problem. These are not decrees. They are words with energy. Because every time you repeat these words, you will have my energy with you. They are not decrees and they can be repeated as many times as they want, until the next journey begins. 
then you will repeat the following, the walk is easy. The transformation is light. Growth is light. My soul is light. And my mind is seeking lightness. Only that. Repeat this as many times as you want. Decorate. But I insist again, repeat with your heart. Talking the talk won't help. Every time you speak these words from the heart, I will be there, enhancing what is being said. Believe what you are saying. And once again I ask, forget your egos and stop comparing yourself to others. These are certainly not the ways.